Welcome back everyone to the November Art Journal Prompt Challenge. It's day three and today's challenge is round. So today I'm working on a fresh page. I believe it is gessoed. That means I put a layer of gesso down and I believe I put a strip of masking tape in the middle so that the paint doesn't run in between and damage my book any further than I already did. <laughs> so I have drew a circle. I used the top of a butter container because I'm not good at drawing perfect circles and I'm laying down a layer of yellow acrylic paint by Deco Art around my circle. At this point I'm not really sure what I want to do. I just know that I'm doing a circle because today's prompt is round. Oh, I think I knew I wanted to use yellow and black. So I'm putting a border now, a black border around. Just a very haphazard, not straight border around. Sketchy! That's the word I'm looking for. I'm putting a sketchy border around my, my page to give it a nice frame. And I'm painting my circle black. I am using Tempera Black Paint by Faber Castle. I really love this paint. It's rich and a little goes a very long way. I've had that paint for more than two years, I think. I use it often. I went back to look for another bottle, just, you know, in case. <laughs> but they didn't have any. Darn it. So I'm trying to fill in my circle nice and, you know, trying to get a proper circle without going out my lines, which I have a tendency to do. But I'm trying really hard to stay within the lines and getting it all nice and black. I'm trying it with my heat gun. And then I'm cooling it down with a piece of paper. <laughs> Just filling in some edges that I didn't, where I didn't use enough paint. Nice. So my layer is dry and I've decided I wanted to put smaller circles. So I'm using the covers of some containers that I threw away. And I'm just adding water to my paints. I'm dipping my the edge of the cover in the paint and stamping it on my page. So I'm making some nice black circles. Just randomly anywhere the edge of this one is it's not smooth it's ragged so and I didn't have enough paint down and I didn't want to put any extra paint down so I just kind of trying to scrape up <laughs> as much paint as I can on the edge of it and yeah it didn't really work out too good but I thought well, it adds character. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. So I'm just going to dry that. And go in with... Oh, now I'm going to pick up my extra paint, like I do, to use it in another project. And I pass it over the hole, and I realized that it went on my book, and I liked how it looks. Isn't that cool? So I'm making some full, tiny circles. <laughs> That's a nice happy mistake. Cleaning up my 
the paints. I'm going in with white. I decided I wanted to use white to the top of my circle, but not with the pen. That's a paint pen. I'm going to use gesso instead. Oh, I'm going to make some more circles. Oh, look how perfect that looks. It's beautiful. That white against the black is amazing. And this sticky thing, stick that I'm using is actually, the, it's a piece of a makeup brush, but the part with the brush fell off, so I kept the stick, clearly knowing I was going to use it in my art. <laughs> so I'm using the tip to make some nice dots. And I'm just loving it. And I wanted smaller circles, so I'm using another container cover and just stamping random white circles wherever. And now I'm going to go in with white at the top of my circle. I was going to use acrylic but I didn't have it on the table so I'm just using my white gesso. And I'm going to add some water in my spritz bottle. And I didn't find that it, there was enough paint on it so I'm adding paint from my paint pen which looks much whiter and now I'm gonna let that drip down to get a nice drippy effect on my circle it wasn't dripping enough so I added some more water I tried to blow it down but it didn't help <laughs> and it's not dripping the way I like not enough drips so I'm just kind of guiding it slightly with my paintbrush and then add some more water and there we go beautiful drips nice yes love how that looks so I'm gonna try that for a focal point of some sort that is below that card is a piece of cloth that I just cut in a very small strip to accommodate the card and this is my stamp I'm trying to figure out which way is up <laughs> oh my goodness yeah I'm looking for my black stamp pad there we go and I'm gonna stamp the words I love these stamps so much I'm stamping it out to see how it looks. If it's good enough. And I'm gonna stamp the word, words full circle. Right, so that worked out okay. So now I'm gonna do it for real this time. <laughs> Clearly that was just a draft. Now this is the real deal.
Now I'm just cleaning off my stamps and packing it back. I clean it off by just stamping it on a piece of paper to get the ink off and I put it back in the box. Trying to make my stamps last as long as possible. Now to stick it down with my tacky glue, my infamous tacky glue. I'm gonna stick it on my cloth, trying to center it because I couldn't see properly where the center was. And then to stick the cloth down, I'm putting the glue just behind where I stuck the card. And I'm putting it in the center. Then I realize you can't really see the card so well, so I'm going to just put a little border. I'm just using a regular marker. I think it's Faber Castle as well, yes. Mm -hmm. And that is my page. So this challenge is done by a little bit of e-design on Instagram. And this is prompt number three. I know I'm super behind, but I'm pressing on. And thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing any of your creations. See you for day four.